Welcome back to another episode of Nick and Matt. Good morning vlog. I am currently drinking some chia lemon water. I also just made breakfast. It's there. Uh, we're gonna eat that and then I'm actually doing a live stream this morning all about meditation. <laughs> if you guys aren't following along on the mindful morning challenge, you might not know what's going on. But basically every day this week I'm doing a live stream over on our private Facebook group and it's been so much fun. You guys are killing it. I'm loving just all the photos and engagement you guys are leaving in the Facebook group and throughout social media using the hashtag mindful morning challenge. So even, even if you guys aren't following along the challenge, you guys can search that hashtag and you'll see everyone's inspiration. And it's just, it's been so much fun and we're only on day three today. So that's what's happening. I'm just getting ready. I'm going to eat. I already showed you guys a close up, but Oh, this looks so good. It's gonna fuel me up today. And I'm gonna have that. I'm gonna, I'm basically done setting up my little uh, area where I'm gonna live stream. I'm gonna have some sage burning. I have some oils diffusing. It's gonna be very relaxing. We're gonna do some affirmations. And we're just gonna start our day on a really good note. And I feel so pale. I mean, it is nasty outside. Can we just look at that? Yeah. <laughs> Yay, winter! So I'm getting ready to do that. I'm starting in like 15 minutes. Then we have a very exciting delivery happening. Okay guys, we are getting a new stove. Home Depot actually reached out to ask us if we wanna try out the new LG stove. I don't know if it's like brand new, but it is beautiful. It's like matte black. It's gorgeous. I can't wait to have a new stove and they're gonna be delivering it today after sometime after 11 So hopefully they don't do it while the live stream is happening, uh, but I'm just so excited So uh, yeah, we will we shall see that later and then um, I think we're gonna go to the gym later as well So it's just gonna be a you know a weekday work day for me today Matt's here too today. He's working from home and it's gonna be a good day. All right, I'm gonna go eat and then we'll show you some behind the scenes of the live stream. All right, so I found some relaxation music and then actually these slippers don't need to be here. Uh, I'm using this little apple crate. Uh, I'm gonna put the camera or my phone on there. I'm gonna be burning some sage. These are from our shop. We have Palo Santo, which has been very loved and then just some white sage. So I'm gonna have that. We don't have this like shell on the shop, but let me know if you guys want it. It's really cute and it holds your smudge sticks really nicely. I have some oils diffusing. And then I'm also gonna be writing in my five minute journal. So this is like an affirmations journal, but you could just use like a piece of paper if you wanted. So I'm gonna be talking about this and why I love meditation, affirmations, and why I believe in them all in the live stream. All right, so I got you guys set up on the tripod here and we're gonna start the live stream now. All right, we're gonna go live. We are live right now. Hi everyone. Hi Linda. All right, I think we can get started. Thank you so much to everyone who's joining me today. I know mornings can be tough to uh, not only wake up but also join a live stream so first to also set the mood in the mornings you know I always like to start my day with some really nice scents and sounds so I'm really sensitive to smells and sounds especially in the morning so I like to really have some calming ones So that was such a fun live stream. It definitely went a little longer just because it's a subject that I really love. Today was all about affirmations, mindfulness, meditation, all that fun, good stuff that I just love and something I do every day. So uh, I'm gonna clean up my little station here. I think the Home Depot delivery should be here. They said after 11, so I'm hoping they're here uh, soon so then we can go to the gym. And uh, oh, also I have a package to unbox with you guys. So I'll do that in a bit. I'm just gonna do some cleaning up. So in the office, we are just packing up a bunch of orders for you guys. All right, so this order here is from Terry Lee and she got some straws, a pop socket, some produce bags, a silicone mat, the stacked bento. Sharon got a Amazonite 
bracelet, some of the bentos, pop sockets, stasher, and a health nut water bottle. I love all these combinations. And yeah, we're just packing them all up. You guys know it's from the health nut shop when you see the sticker, which I think we're gonna start selling these on the shop because a lot of you guys have asked us about these stickers. And they're really cute. You can put them on your laptop. You can put them on really anything, but I have one on my laptop and I really like it. So we're gonna just finish packaging all these orders up to get them out to you guys. So I just got a call from the front desk that our delivery is on the way. They're in the elevator right now. So we just moved the stove and it's disgusting. Hey, I'm not prepared for that eventually. <laughs> Bye, old stove. Did you like this? your name? Matt. Where I'm going. Thanks Matt. No oh, my boyfriend's name is Matt too. <laughs> it's a good name. Yeah. <laughs> okay, it looks so pretty. I It's hard to tell when you see a photo, but guys. Oh, and Matt was saying because the old one had uh, like a back ledge. That's so like now you actually, tree. yeah, now you actually see the, uh, the backsplash more. And then I think this just goes, ooh. That goes back there or something, I'm not sure. But I think this is an exhaust fan. This is so pretty. Wait. Oh, it's taped. It's taped. <laughs> Ew. Okay, we're gonna clean it all up, take all the plastic off, and we'll see the final reveal. But it fits like a glove. This one is closer to the counter than the other one was. Mm -hmm. beautiful I never thought I'd get really excited about kitchen appliances can't wait to use it I feel like we're gonna have to have like a roast or something tonight um but yeah it's beautiful I will link this one down below if you guys want to check it out but yeah it is very pretty oh is there stuff in oh there's stuff inside Ooh, it's blue wow so I also got a package from well.ca I thought I would do a little unboxing I ordered some skincare stuff uh, actually I forget exactly what I ordered but I'm gonna open it up and we'll do a little unboxing So here's what's inside. I ordered some jojoba oil. I use this every night to take off my eye makeup and it's also just really good for a facial massage. Now I bought two of them because I bought a cheaper one uh, that's still just 100% pure jojoba oil but for my massages because I find they use a lot so I wanted to get a cheaper one because this one is organic and it just costs a bit more. So I have this one for my face, this one for massages. Then I have this vitamin C serum and this is from The Ordinary. I've been wanting to use a vitamin C serum so I heard this one's really good. From the same brand, I'm trying their Marine Hyaluronics. I believe this is just a hyaluronic serum and it's supposed to be really good for just helping to draw moisture into the skin and giving you like that plump look so I have that as well. Next I have this vitamin C spray from Garden of Life. Matt and I use this every day. We love it so we run out of it pretty quickly. It tastes really good. I like the cherry tangerine flavor. Next I have some Green Beavers Frosty Mint Natural Toothpaste. This is the one I've been using for quite a while now. I really like it and I like that it doesn't have any nasty ingredients like SLS or fluoride. Then I got this brightening facial scrub by Acure, and this was actually a recommendation from my facial acupuncturist, um, Amrit. She told me I need to scrub my face, so she uses this one, so I thought I would get it and give it a try. I'm excited to exfoliate. And then last but not least, I got a natural sea sponge, I guess. Yeah, all natural sea sponge for my body, because I realized that the ones that I've been buying are just probably ending up in landfills. They're like the 
the nylon ones so I wanted one that was more natural biodegradable and that I would feel okay throwing away after I'm done I'm just trying to avoid buying single use or not single use but disposable products so I'm excited to use this I'll let you guys know how it is I will link all the products that I mention here down below if you guys want to check them out so uh, yeah I'm excited to give these new skincare items a try taking a picture of the family so these are our new avocado pillows, little plush pillows, so cute. And I'm doing a, can you spot the fake? <laughs> All right, so we've swapped our location. I think on top of the bed frame is actually way cuter. And uh, Mr. Matt's gonna hold this whiteboard. You wanna hold that up? And just to bounce some light. He's very enthusiastic, right? <laughs> and we're gonna take some photos. We take a lot of photos and then only end up using like two. But you know what? It's worth it. All right, next up, we're gonna take some photos of these cute avocado socks. Ooh, this is a so while we were shooting photos, we got two deliveries. One, Mantaba Harvest. It's their new granola, which we've already tried, and we got another package of it. It's so good. And then we got this, like, did you open this? I did. Yeah, I <gasps> I know what this is. Oh, hang on. So, this is really exciting news. Green Beaver just came out with the very first natural antiperspirant, which it's different than deodorant, antiperspirant, blah, blah, blah. Antiperspirant is what actually helps you not sweat and yeah i'm so excited i'm gonna be one of the first youtubers slash influencers to work with them on their new product i'm really excited so it's all aluminum free and you guys know i don't wear aluminum deodorant so they have a men's line this is the men's line here Ooh, that's for me. yeah two for matt and then they have three for women i mean you could use the men's too i guess it's just different scents Ooh, I will be talking more about these on my Instagram, so stay tuned. Oh, that one's so fresh. This one's Verve. Ooh, I like that. How's the... It's Freedom. Oh, what's that smell like? Okay, then they also have the Escape. Matt, your, your reactions are not getting in this. Oh my god. Mm. Smell that. I don't think. It's a little bit more fruitier. I think that's for women, no? Yeah. But I, I like. I think this one's I like, like masculine mild. scents too. Let me smell. It's just like a like pretty nice and mild. Not Ooh, that one's nice too. Voyage. And then which one can I smell? Bliss. Oh. I think it's like vanilla. Am I crazy? Ooh. That one. Ooh. Dang. Pits, you're gonna be so happy. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. That's kind of weird. Pete, she'll be so happy. Weird. Okay, uh, I'm gonna have some lunch now. I think we have leftovers and pasta last night. Did you save me some? Yeah. And then I gotta get up the video and then we'll go to the gym. Sound good? Pump, just pump. Nothing like leftover so i actually meal prepped a huge amount of this pasta sauce with ground turkey mushrooms sauce tons of spices and fresh parsley lots of garlic and onion as well and then this is a mixture of just brown rice pasta and zoodles i thought it would be fun to mix them so this is what i'm going to have for lunch and probably with uh, some nutritional yeast on top and since i'm not all about the microwave i'm going to heat it up on the stove uh, on the new stove. This is gonna be the first time we're using it. 
All right, so I'm using the middle one. Oh, this one actually has a fifth burner. Okay, so. Ooh, this feels so satisfying. Okay, uh, I guess four. I don't know why it says warming stage. Oh, am I not supposed to? Wait, maybe that one is just for keeping things warm. Oh, okay, that's if I wanna use the small burner, which I think I am. Okay, we'll do that one on four. <sighs> okay, I think I'm technology, guys. <laughs> just got up today's new video which is seven meal prep hacks you should guys should totally go check it out if you haven't already I'm gonna go get dressed I was wearing there's still an avocado on the floor I was wearing my workout clothes earlier uh, but obviously I had to change because we were taking some photos so I'm gonna change back into my workout clothes and then we're gonna go to the gym because I have groceries being delivered between five and seven uh, because yeah, we, we do that lately. That's actually one of the hacks in the video. Uh, but we, so we gotta be back for that time. And then, uh, yeah, see that's why it's awesome to have your groceries delivered because you can go to the gym instead of spending an hour or two at the grocery store. So I'm gonna go get changed and then we're gonna go work out. All right, just made it to the gym. It's raining outside. Let's do this. Got my gym bag. Got my gym bag. <laughs> <sighs> it's such a crappy day now. gym Matt's been packing up all these orders like there's more too in the front and I'll show you guys what I've been doing it's kind of a mess in here so I've been organizing my closet uh, yeah I'm not a clean person all the time my closet is a is the area in the house that gets the messiest because like I'm either you know changing outfits for videos or I can't decide on what I want to wear I feel like I look a mess today and it gets really messy quickly so the bathroom's not too bad i just have some stuff i need to put away but i just thought i would show you guys this is like real life this is what our nights sometimes look like and i've just been watching some youtube i have my laptop on the bed and i'm just organizing into piles you think i watch you you would think i watch the uh, marie kondo netflix uh show but i haven't yet <laughs> so but i i know like the basis of it but basically i'm just kind of like folding things sorting things out this is the pile for things to be hung. That's laundry. I like to get all my whites together. And there's just stuff on the floor and I'm just like unpackaging um, like sleepover bags that I had for my parents. What's back here? It's like just so messy. I just have clothes. I hide all the clothes back here and then I have to deal with it. So that's what's happening. So we just got our groceries delivered. So right now we use Grocery Gateway because they're technically the only ones that will deliver to where we live, but I've been really enjoying their service. So I just want to quickly show you guys what I got. I got some celery, I got some green onions, then I got some red pepper hummus, organic baby kale, a cucumber, some little tomatoes on a vine, some bananas, butternut squash. I got, uh, oh yeah, I forgot I got some uh, organic turmeric. That's really good for smoothies. I got organic mushrooms, some kale that looks really beautiful. Then I got, I haven't tried these out yet. These are veggie pepperoni uh, slices from Eve's. 
I'm gonna try that. Basically, I wanna make pizza, so I have this, have the green onions or the green olives, and we're gonna make some spelt pizza this week. I got a couple apples. I try not to get too much fruit because it's really just Matt and I, and like it goes bad quickly if we don't eat it. So I got two sweet potatoes, three avocados, green, uh, red onion, little snacks. I'm surprising Matt with this. <laughs> Uh, he really likes these. And then I just got some blue corn chips. And then I got some unsweetened almond milk from Earth's Own. I really like this one. There's a few brands that I kind of go back and forth between. But yeah, we didn't get too much stuff because I went grocery shopping the other day. I just knew I needed some more staples, so I ordered this. And now I'm going to put it all away. By the way, I'm probably going to get a lot of questions about uh, these little mesh produce bags. We actually sell these on our shop. And they're really handy. You can actually bring them with you to the grocery store and just use them to weigh your stuff instead of using those plastic bags. I will link these down below if you guys want to check them out. They come in three uh, different sizes. I think these are the large, the large ones. So I'll link them down below. So I always love having a nice full fruit bowl because we have limited space here. I'll throw things like onions and sweet potato in there as well. And then I'm just gonna lay on these nanners right over top because they need some ripening. And then I usually just use leave the butternut squash on the counter too because uh, I find it keeps for quite a while. So I was gonna show you guys us making dinner tonight, but I feel like it's already been a quite the long vlog and really just catching up on stuff and we were gonna try to make some pizza tonight, but I think I'm just gonna make a massive salad and that's what we'll have. So yeah, nothing too exciting that I thought we would share, but did you have a good day, sir? It's a fantastic, fantastic day. Yeah, it was, it was good. good, it was good. It was good, a lot Pretty of dark. work, but yeah. good. Oh, I'm sore already from that workout. Um, but yeah, thank you so much guys for watching. A question of the day today. Okay, I thought of the question. Since I'm still organizing my closet and it's a mess, I would love to know, are you guys one of those people who, you know, take something in a closet and you put it away and it's always organized and you're just like the person I wish I was? Or are you like me and you just seem to like throw everything in the closet, hide it until all of a sudden you have to do four loads of laundry, fold everything, hang everything. It's a whole, it's a whole night right now of doing this. And yeah, I wish I was someone that like used something and put it away right after, but I'm just, it's hard work for me. It's not something that comes easy. So I would love to know, uh, leave me a comment down below, letting me know which one are you. And also for those who are organized or aren't, but have found ways to get over it, what are your tips? Please tell me. I've heard of the rule where you like touch everything once. So when you get home, you know, you take off your jacket, instead of putting it on a chair, you put it away. Uh, you take off your boots, you put it away. So you're only touching everything once. And that's like a thing, which I, I sometimes try to keep in the back of my mind. Matt is one of those people. <clears throat> He's looking at me like, yeah, I am. Mm. So give me your advice, guys. Please help. As always, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that red subscribe button down below. Uh, we post vlogs here every Friday, and then I post recipes on Mondays and wellness tips and, well and lifestyle videos on Wednesday. So uh, we will see you guys in the next vlog. Have a fabulous day, and we'll see you guys soon. Bye. Yo. See you next time. That's all I got. Uh, okay. Oh, and keep an eye out. I uh, will have a link down below for the avocado pillows and socks. They're so cute. I can't wait for you guys to get your hands on them. Okay. Bye, guys.